Working as intended. Bring this fight. Oh, I'll punch him right in the dick. Sunsoft, 1989. Oh, it's Batman. So I go from Strider, one of the easier NES games, to Batman, one of the hardest NES games. But don't worry, I practiced a bit before, uh, before trying it here, trying recording. So I'm probably still gonna die horribly. Story time, Gotham City. It's a dark, deserted gov city governed by crime and violence. The whole town is now in preparation for the 200th anniversary of the Gotham City Festival. This sounds like uh, Ninja Gaiden story music. It's the Joker! The city's evil leader. He has spread poisonous nerve gas all over the town and has terrorized the population. A shrewd photojournalist tracking the poison gas mysteries in danger many times but rescued each time by a mysterious black figure who, in fact, is... Batman. I don't even think you ever see Vicky Bill in this game. While fighting against Joker recalls him as a murderer of his parents many years ago, Batman with full force waged the last fight against the Joker to limit the world, the evil, and avenge his parents. Did they, they missed both parents? Alright, nice pixelated Jack Nicholson there. Here we go. This is gonna be horrible. So this game has many shenanigans and many precise jumps required. Batman just gets out in the middle of the street. Alright, we're gonna punch the everything. Even flamethrower dudes. You can even jump off walls in this game, which are needed later in the game and you have to be very precise. In theater? Oh, there's daily double there. <laughs> Next section! Okay, you also have different weapons. Let's launch that to kill that landmine. Ah! Oh yeah, when enemies die, they can still hit you. At least they got a heart right away. So yeah, you don't get very much health in this game. Oh, and if you switch weapons while it's launched out, uh, it actually disappears. So this is the uh, the Hall of Flamethrowers. We're not even going to bother with that. We're going to jump up here. <laughs> no, that didn't hit. There are a lot of jerky enemies in this game, too. And jerky placements for enemies. You can see your first jerk enemy here. Just run along the top here. And now we fall. Have some boomerangs, idiot! Alright, first boss is pretty simple. Just standing against the side here and when he di dives. Alright, dodge that. You can uh, hit him with uh, these things. Hits twice, so... Does more damage. Or you can miss like me. I think it's very hard to punch this guy on his dive. Wee, More driving! Pew 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 pew! <laughs> Wait, I was gonna say, was he gonna like drive into it, bash it? Because he certainly didn't. It was already knocked over. Also, the Japanese version of this game had uh, different. First two stages, music were uh, swapped. I don't know why. Acid. This game is ass, Ed. And then up above, it's like, do these precision jumps. At least the enemies are moving slowly. It's not as precision as you think. Dang it. That's better. <laughs> in this game, especially in later levels, you have to be very careful, so luckily you're not timing this game. Alright, this is a jump. Am I gonna make it? No, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, hello, annoying spike dude. God damn it. I'm so bad. Landmine. I'm funny if you could punch the claw. Also, electricity. This place is already getting shenanigan y. Goes once then twice for the claw machine. All right, now the jumps. Now the jumps are starting. Damn it, go away, dude! I don't want. Stay away from the edge of the platform. I need that part. Thank you. Wall jump shenanigans. Can't wait till stage five when the wall jump shenanigans really happen. All right, what the fuck do I do here? Besides, drop down and get hit. God damn it! I should just jump down to the bottom there. There, that's how you do that. Oh, a dude with the gun. There, just do that instead. I'm gonna have another one of these jumps. There's probably gonna be dudes over here. Yup! What a bunch of dicks. At least uh, this stage starts having refill stations. These things. You can refill your life on them. And your weapon. I'm getting geared up. Another thing that drops enemies. Run! Ow! 
Just drop down here. Have some boomerangs, some batarangs. All right, another drop down. Made it. I see gears on the top. Be precise with your jumps. You can also do a refill here. These guys will respawn if you head back left and right. That's okay, I got, I'm full hearts now, so I'm good. All right. What have we got here? The boss room? Hop and duck. There, another one up there. You actually uh, don't have to work with the lasers. You can actually jump on the right side here. Oh, so precise. Now, what's really odd is that those lasers actually block uh, your shots. See? In this last part, we're gonna punch the shit out of. Just punch the shit out of it because it doesn't have much health. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Thanks, Jank Jack Nicholson. Alright, we're getting shenanigan enemies now. These jumping dudes are full of shenanigans, these guys. They're so annoying, they take so many hits and they just keep hitting you. And there's a lot of them. Just like, jump into it. Alright, landmines! Out of the way! Alright, any more jumping dudes? Hit them with these. <laughs> I mean, I kinda need my weapon power. Cause there's more of those jumpy dudes up ahead. Five hits with a gun. Oh, whoops, accidentally despawned my gunshot. These things are annoying. Better to use weapons on them. Refill station. God damn it. Get my health back. And my weapon power. More shenanigans. This whole entire stage is shenanigans. Be very careful when jumping down. There's probably damage things down there. Yep. I hate games where it's just like, you can't see below you, better make a leap of faith and hope you don't die. I saw you, jumpy dude. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, did I scroll him off? <laughs> Is there more jumpy dude? Yeah, there's more jumpy dude. God damn, I keep doing that. These things are easy to get punched. Oh, there's another refill station. <laughs> don't need it. This should lead to the end, I think. Alright, this place has tanks. Tanks a lot. And they're really annoying. So are these landmines? <laughs> yeah, god damn it! That's right. They're, they're like those uh, jumping enemies. I think they have like five hits. And there's gonna be more tanks as we go up. There's gonna be a tank over here, isn't there? Can you not? Oh, scroll them off. <laughs> Lucky. No, I'm not gonna deal with that. <laughs> this game is weird in that start. Uh, it switches your weapon. And select pauses. Refill station. Need it before this vertical precision jump section. It's like starting stage two, every single stage has like a part where it's just like, I hope you're good at wall jumping. I hope you're good at wall jumping and killing enemies together. Cause this game puts uh, enemies in douchey spots. Like here. Be very careful with your jumps. For some reason there's no flamethrower guy there. Oh, that's why, cause I'm at the end. God damn it, tank. Alright, this boss, something, something you can use the upper platforms to, uh. to dodge attacks. But I'm just gonna throw boomerangs and have one health left. Welcome, Batman. Why don't you look at my latest work of art? That looks a lot less Jack Nicholson. <laughs> so, as you can see, I only have five health because you don't get all your health restored every stage. And there's absolutely gonna be shenanigans in this stage. Yep, there's Jumper Dude. Refill. I'll take every opportunity to get my health back. Oh look, more refill station. Yeah, this place is kind of dickish already. Oh, Joker Pieces there, Jumper. Be careful! There's lots of runners. Yeah, like I said, I'm glad you're not timed in this game. I see a Jumper. Go slowly. Be careful. Aha! Be careful! Made it. Next area. More shenanigans. Oh, thanks. Hearts are the most useful drop in this game. Oh god. No. Alright, wall jump! Can I make this jump? Yeah, I can. How about this jump? Yep. Huh, that's shenanigan-y. Ah! Are you ready to wall jump if you miss this jump? Oh my god, it's almost like I'm good at this game. 
Spoiler, I'm not. Alright, more shenanigans? More shenanigans. Damage zones everywhere. Alright, this jump here is... Not done like that. <laughs> Alright, next section. So if you punch enemies and keep them in a state of damage, then uh, they don't actually hurt you. Ah, refill. Just draw parts already? It's kind of annoying how sometimes a random one just gets through and still hurts me. Safety! I see you up there. Jump over you. Oh, this, this is a glorious spot. It's like, oh, did you fail to jump? You get to go all the way back to the beginning section. Whoa. Alright, that was pure luck. Well, that's dickish. This place up here looks horrible. I have no idea how I, that thing didn't zap me. Huh. That dude over there. Shoot to the wall! See, this is what I hate. I don't know where to do this jump, so it's fall and hope. Yep. And that guy over there will toss a few of these. And this one, same thing, I think. Yep. Oh, the precision jumps. I don't want to deal with that fire guy. So I just jump up here instead. Well, I saw that shot up there, you fucking tank. Oh, thanks for the heart. Worth it. And those things are annoying. I'm climbing up higher. There's probably another one, isn't there? Isn't there? Yep. Is that front shot not coming out at all? Is it because there's these guys up here? Is there another tank? No? I see you. Refill station. I see Claude who's slowly creeping up. Oh, Claude is turning around. Catch you later. Oh, I take a lot of punches. Punch you right in the dick. Oh, jerk. Jerk. Why are you shooting out more than three suddenly? No. I make it to the end? Okay, if you don't know how to do this boss, you're gonna be here for a while. But, uh, basically you punch the shit out of him by jumping up to the upper spot up here. And duck. And punch him as he goes through you because he's taking damage. He's not doing damage to you. And then just repeat this. And fall down here so you don't get shot up there. And this last guy just punch the shit out of down here. Easy. <laughs> oh. Gotham Tower. What is this place? It's like, it stands out a bit. Alright, final level. Uh, I recommend that if you don't have your uh, two lives here, that you just get game over and go through the stage with your two lives. Because this stage is- this stage sucks ass. And you're gonna want some lives for Joker, just in case. Nope. God damn it, enemies. Also, slow down. But this place has like this tower that you do super precision jumping up of. I don't think I can make this jump. Jump off of there, and then run right- God damn it! I'm so bad at this game. And of course, everything respawns. Alright, duck and start hitting. <laughs> And here's where the jumping begins. Oh, that wasn't too bad. None of your shit. But yeah, all these gears make for really annoying jump things, and then there's that guy up there that I want to just jump past. <laughs> Alright, here's where, here's where the shenanigans are. These things do one strike and then two strikes. One, two. Then punch it. Now I have flamethrower dude to deal with. Easy. You know, it's not so easy as this jump right here. So you have to, like, fall, go against the right wall, and then jump to the left. Not like that. <laughs> and you have this shenanigans. Where you're constantly jumping against the wall. No. Alright, same thing with this jump. Just like that. Another one of these grabby hands. Is there a flamethrower guy above me? No. Alright, another one of the annoying hard jumps. God damn it! I wish you could, like, launch weapons upwards. Alright, another one of these jumps. Did it! Alright, any grabby hand guys? No, there's gonna be one of these guys instead. Refill station up above, though. Yay, heart! Can you stop? Jump up here. Alright, now we use a refill station. Wait, is this the end of the level already? Well, where'd you come from? What the fuck? Alright, get one more heart. <laughs> Are we gonna get the magic dude again? 
Yep. Alright, is this the end of the stage? Yes. This guy, give him some boomerangs. Jump over those. The uh, front one you can kind of react to, but the uh, close one you kind of have to pre-jump. That's all I have to do for this guy. I'm going to take a swing and miss. And after this you have to go straight into the Joker fight. And with a Joker, your strongest weapon is the punch, because you want to stay close to him anyways. Because he has a gun that deals three damage, and... Greetings, Batbrain! Are you ready to meet your destiny? So his gun does three damage, and you want him you want him to fire and do his lightning shit uh, until he gets close. So he should run up, and then now you can start punching him. And then every time he hits you with lightning, just do a little hop forward and just keep punching him in the face. As long as you have like seven or eight health, you'll be able to outlast him. But then if you're like me and you don't get in range to punch him, then you're bad. <laughs> He's gonna run up close. Just stay up close and just keep punching him. You should be winning this fight. Oh, punch him right in the dick! I'll keep punching him. Because when you're up close, his gun actually doesn't have, like, doesn't start right where he's at. It's actually quite a bit forward, so... I know you murdered my parents. Now you'll dance with them in the pale moonlight and throw him off! Whee! Happy Joker! <laughs> Not as Jack Nicholson Joker. <laughs> why, why does his face, like, change? Did it. But yeah, figuring out ways to beat the boss in this game is where you lose all your lives, and whenever you, do, you get game over, I believe you start at the very beginning of the stage. Maybe. I just know that last stage only has one section, that's really the only stage that I had to continue a bunch. Because the last boss, I'm like, let's try using batarangs, let's try using shots and staying far away, and it's just like, nope. Because the, the Joker will, like, actually run up to you, so, like, like that, so. Pretty, and his attacks are hard to dodge, so just, just go and punch him, like. It's probably the fastest way to kill him, too, and you don't have to worry about getting shot with his three damage gun. Spec kill, thanks. To pa uh, those are the uh, random white dudes. Did it! I won the game. Presented by Sunsoft. All right, next time I think I'll play another action game. Is there anything after this? No. All right. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? If you did, leave a comment, press that like button, and share it with your friends. You can click on the left button to subscribe and the right button to watch more retro games. Thanks for watching.